Okay. All right, James. Your client today is a real estate investment firm, and what they're considering is they're looking at buying a hotel, and want to know if it's a good idea. Uh, it's just a couple of details about the hotel. It's in a valley right beneath a good ski resort in Colorado. Uh, it's about 25 minutes away from the from the ski resort itself. Uh, there are just you know some hotels at the resort, uh, but this hotel, uh, the location that they're considering is halfway between the airport and the ski resort. Okay. Okay, great, thank you. Um, can I just clarify a couple things if that's okay? Yeah, yeah go ahead. So, it's a real estate investment firm, um, and they're looking specifically at a hotel that's uh, in between the airport and the ski resort. So it's not like catering to the expensive clients, but more people mm -hmm. perhaps who are um, looking for a less expensive place to stay, but yeah. still coming to ski. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, and you mentioned, you know, the goal of this firm is uh, basically they want to know if this investment is a good idea. Yeah. Do they have any criteria specifically that would qualify this as a good idea for an investment? Yeah, that's a great question. There are uh, two specific criteria they have. The first is they want a payback period of two and a half years. Okay. And then they want a 60% return on the investment within uh, the first five years. Okay, let me just get that information down. So payback period of two and a half years, and then return on investment of 60% within five years, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've taken some classes on investment and finance, but mm -hmm. do you mind if I just clarify to make sure I understand when we talk about payback period and return on investment that I'm pursuing yeah. the right information here? Yeah, go ahead. So my understanding for payback period is how long it takes them to earn their, their initial investment back, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Great, so that would be um, essentially initial investment divided by um, profits per year, and that would okay. give, that would tell us um, how many years it takes them. Great. And then return on investment, I think is pretty straightforward. It's um, profits over the initial investment. Yeah, that okay. sounds good. Great. And uh, within five years, and so we'll want to look at uh, the profits that they get over a series of five years. Yeah, I think you got it. Great. Um, do you mind if I take a second to just throw together some ideas um, to know where to go from here? Yeah, go ahead. Great, thank you. Okay. So I've put together uh, in a flow chart and just a framework to okay. um, explain kind of the information I'm seeking yeah. and also um, how that will help in our calculation. So as we talked about, for both of these equations, we need um, profits, information on profits, mm -hmm. and then the initial yeah. investment. Um, so the first thing is just talking about profits for this hotel. That's going to be a function of their revenues, what they're bringing in, and then the costs that, the expenses that they're incurring by running this hotel. Um, so when I think about a hotel and, and sources of revenue and types yeah. of revenue, obviously the main one's going to be rooms, mm -hmm. um, room rates and things like that, how much they're charging and how many people are, are staying in those rooms, occupancy levels. Yeah. There's also some other items of revenue which I can think of, such as uh, meals, room service, maybe mm -hmm. entertainment. Uh, travel uh, assistance to and from a ski resort and things like that. Yeah. Um, so do we have any information uh, about the client's uh, revenue sources, perhaps room rates or anything, yeah. uh, occupancy levels? No, that's great. Uh, that was great. Those are a lot of points. I think for this, we're going to mainly just focus on the revenues that come from the room itself. Okay. Um, so here's some information that, that you're asking for. Um, 
The price, the, the price for a hotel room is $200 a night. Okay. Um, we have 300 rooms in the hotel. Okay. And uh, there's a cost per room of $10, the variable cost. Okay. And then there is a, a fixed cost as well, $15,000 per night. So the variable cost, um, is that just with uh, each room that's occupied? Yeah. Okay, exactly. great. So if a room's not occupied, they're not going to incur that, okay, per occupied room. And it looks like the fixed cost is just going to be every night $15,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So we've got $200 a night, 300 rooms, fixed cost of $10, variable cost of $15,000. Um, now, I would think that because this caters to ski resorts, occupancy rates might be different for winter and summer. Mm -hmm. um, do we have any information on that? Yeah, perfect. Um, definitely fluctuates. So during the winter, we consistently sell out at 300 on average okay. are occupied every night. During the summer, though, we're down to 50. Okay. And we just 50. For simplicity, let's just assume they're those two seasons. Okay, so half and half, six months each. Sounds good. Great. Okay. Um, just to simplify calculations in the future, um, the summer is one sixth of winter occupancy. Mm -hmm. That might help out, um, you know, as we're crunching through some numbers to make things a little bit easier to yeah. translate between the two. Interesting. Okay. Um, any any fluctuations on price um, with seasonality? You know, uh, currently that's just the the price of the the hotel room. It's it's been that year round. Okay. Great. So I guess that'll make things a little bit simpler. I like that. Okay. And is it okay if I assume a 360 day a year? Yeah. So 180 for each season. Okay, and that'll just make things a little simpler for you. Okay, great. Um, so that, you know, looks like all the information that I need in terms of profits. Is there anything else that uh, the hotel would like us to consider when calculating profits for them? Um, no, those are the main things, uh, the main awesome. drivers, and let's just look at those. Great. So the next thing I'd like to look at. Um, in this process is just the initial investment, the amount that we're going to spend um, to purchase this hotel. Mm -hmm. um, has the client provided us any information on that? Yeah, their asking price is 25 million. 25 million, okay. 25 big ones. All right, so based on what we've talked about before and the goals of this firm, um, mm -hmm. this is the information that I need to move forward with the analysis. You know, there's some other strategic uh, insights that I'd like to examine. Um, but I think that because they've wanted us to consider these financial implications first, we'll go there. Okay. And then as we come back, we can think about some of the more strategic things that might help us if uh, we don't quite meet these goals or, or anything else we want to consider. That sounds great. So what I'm going to do first, because we have our investment amount just straight up, um, I'm going to go, go forward and calculate profits per year. Okay. And that'll uh, give us a good sense of, of um, where we're at. So let's look at, uh, I'm going to break it out into winter and summer, okay. and I'm going to do uh, revenues and costs separately. I think it'll just be good to have these numbers in front of me um, in case I need to rearrange them in other ways. So for winter, um, as we look at revenue, that's going to be um, $200 a night and 300 rooms. So if we multiply those together, that's going to give us $60,000 per night okay. for full occupancy. Then what we want to do is multiply that by 180 um, nights, okay. just for winter reasons. And that gives us, um, should be 10 million eight hundred thousand dollars of winter revenue. So let's just put this over to the side. Okay, then we'll look at summer revenue next. Okay. So like I said before, summer revenue is just gonna be a sixth of that. Yeah. That'll make mm -hmm. things a lot easier. So if we go down here, summer revenue is 1,800,000. So it looks like for the, uh, the total one year, revenue is going to be $12,600,000. Right? Yeah, looks good. Okay. 
Now um, let's do winter. Uh, let's see. I want to look at winter uh, variable costs. And um, we know that it's $10 per occupied room. And we have um, the 300 rooms again. That's going to give us 3,000 per night. And then if we multiply that by 180, um, that'll give us 540,000 variable costs in the winter. Mm -hmm. And then put that over here. Once again, we can just divide that by six um, to give us the summer variable mm -hmm. costs. Yeah. And if we do that, it looks like it's 90,000. Let us not forget about the fixed costs. So the fixed costs are um, 15000 a night, and that's multiplied by 360 yeah. total. Great. So the total fixed costs there it looks like we're going to have 5400000 So I'm just going to total all these costs up together, okay. and it looks like we'll have six million thirty thousand dollars worth of uh, costs. Okay. So does that make sense? You, you need me to clarify any of, of that there? No. So okay. uh, just let me make sure I've got the revenue. So you've got twelve million in revenue and about six million in in costs. Per exactly. Year. Correct. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. So profit for the year is just going to be. Um, subtracting uh, the costs from that revenue. So we have the 12.6 in revenue minus the uh, 6,030,000. That'll give us a total of 6,570,000 uh, dollars in profit. Okay. So what we need to do now is um, divide this into uh, our initial investment to see what our payback period is first. We'll see if we okay. meet that hurdle or not, and then we'll look at return on investment. Okay. So let's look at payback period first. So our initial investment was $25 million, and um, we have $6,570,000. Um, I'm just going to round that to 6.6 .6, if that's okay. Sounds good to me. Just make it a little simpler. Okay. So 250 by 66. So it looks like we have mm, over three years of uh, payback period. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Just, so we've got. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So roughly 3.8 years in payback period, um, which is doesn't meet the goal that we have that 2.5 years. Okay. But let's look at the ROI, see where we're at with that, and if we can uh, perhaps um, pull a few levers and uh, help them meet that goal. Okay. So ROI is going to be um, our uh, six million five hundred seventy uh, thousand but it's going to be um, multiplied by five because we're, we're looking at it over a series of five years. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take this six million, multiply that by five, that gives us 30 million. Okay. And then we have another 100, 570,000. So if we multiply 500,000 by five, that gives us 2.5 million. Okay. And then another uh, 70,000 by five. You know, let's just add that up and call it good. Okay. Sounds good. So our profits over a series of uh, five years is gonna be 32.5 million. Okay, that sounds great. Um, however, what we need to remember to do in this instance is to subtract the initial 25 million investment. Yeah. Um, even though we calculated profits for the operation of the hotel, um, 
this initial investment should count in our ROI calculation. Okay. So when we do that, we end up with 7.5 million of profits. Okay. Um, and we divide that by the initial $25 million investment. And uh, just eyeballing that, um, that gives us roughly 30% in terms of uh, return on investment. Okay. So that's about half of what they're looking for. Okay. So on both of these goals, you know, they haven't met uh, their target um, for ROI. They're, they're half of what they're looking for, payback period, um, about a year plus um, in addition to what they're looking for. Okay. So uh, let's say then looking at that, you know, you've looked at it, the numbers don't line up with what the company's looking for as far as their investments go. Well, what are some things you can think of to maybe, you know, change the numbers? What, what levers could you pull to, to make this a more attractive investment? Great. No, that's a great question. I mean, you know, my first instinct is to say don't invest okay. just because it's, it's, it's not meeting their goals. But there are, just looking from the information you've given me, mm -hmm. there are some definite levers to pull which um, can really make a big difference. So the key in looking at all this information is to, to analyze, well, what can make the biggest difference? Because there's a lot of things you can tweak, but you want to put your effort in the, the best places. So I think that one thing that sticks out to me right away is the, the summer occupancy rate. Yeah. We're paying $15,000 in fixed costs um, and uh, we're only occupying six of the rooms that we could. Yeah. So one thing I think to look at is how can we boost summer occupancy rates? Yeah. Um, that could be anything from are there summer recreational activities which we could help promote. You know mm -hmm. the ski resort during the summer they do yeah. uh, mountain biking or there are lakes up there and things like that. Um, we could also look at changing our pricing based upon the season. Yeah. Um, and also perhaps um, looking at our cost structure to see if we can't increase occupancy rates, is there a way to decrease fixed costs during the summer season, yeah. you know, using less utilities, uh, fewer managerial workers and things like that, um, are just a few things I can think of. Okay. Um, you know, let's just say, I mean, those are great things we want to look at. I would take a, you know, a lot of studying, a lot of time to kind of invest in that, uh, just even that basic understanding. Maybe uh, in conclusion, what what is your uh, I don't know your summation of this, your your advice at this point yeah, for the company? Exactly. So you know, if they were to come to me today and ask my recommendation, I would say investing in the hotel currently is not a good idea, according yeah. to their own um, metrics. Um, just to summarize that, their um, payback period is about three point eight years, mm -hmm. which is you know higher than what they're looking at. Their ROI is about half what they're looking at. Yeah. However. Um, I personally do see a lot of potential for improvement. If they're really sold on this hotel, they like the idea of it. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few levers which I think, um, if pulled in the right way, could yield uh, a lot of improvement. So further considerations would be looking at how to increase occupancy rates um, and perhaps how to change pricing or the cost structure. And um, looking into that would be great to come back and investigate their goals again. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you.